wonderful people. But in today's video, I'm gonna talk about my first anime as well as some of my first anime experiences. Now, it's a little hazy because it was so long ago, but I will, I think, honestly, the first anime in general, both movie as well as TV show, I think the first anime I ever watched was Akira. Granted, I'm not, honestly, I'm not a big fan of Akira. Uh, Akira. I don't, I don't know what, what, I think it's just because at that time, I really just never really took the time to really watch it all the way through. I remember I watched pieces here and there, but I didn't really get it. It's like probably like, you know, if I watched it now that I'm older, I'd understand it a little bit more. Or maybe I'd feel the same way. I don't know. I do remember my cousin was really into it. I don't know if she feels the same way now, but at the time she really liked the movie. Me personally, I, if I had to pick an animated movie to like be in love with, it's Princess Mononoke. Like hands down, favorite animated movie, probably my favorite movie in general. Just love that movie. I've, probably over the years I've watched it over a dozen times. It's kind of my go-to movie. It's like, well, got nothing to do. Might as well watch Princess Mononoke. I've watched it a ridiculous amount of times. Along with that, probably one of the er other earliest anime movies ever watched is a movie X. Now, if you I, you know if you're not familiar with X, it's kind of like a weird fantasy. It, it's 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 a crazy movie. Um, that was probably hands down my first experience with the movie where it's like, oh, not every movie has a happy ending. Because if you've never seen X, it has one of the most depressing endings ever. Uh, just the way that movie unfolds. Granted, I knew, I know there is, a, there was a series, and I think there's a manga too. I don't, I think the m movie came out first, and then the ex the series and the manga came out later. Maybe I don't know. I think the movie was like from '99, so I don't, I don't know what the timeline is for everything. But I do know that the TV, the series is actually quite different than the movie but it's been so long i don't think i ever actually finished the series but i mean still a good movie from what i remember it like i have not seen it in a very long time but if we're going to break it down to just series honestly that's kind of a up in the air too because i don't remember whether i actually saw sailor moon first or dragon ball z i know i love dragon ball z because if you didn't know that about me i was like a huge dbz nerd back in the day like in fourth grade that's like around the time i watched dragon ball z that's all i cared about there was only like three people in my class i could talk to about dbz it's like oh yeah the class is going outside to play it's like, oh, can we stay in here and play a Dragon Ball Z game on the computer? Okay. Granted, this was a substitute, and, you know, we kind of got chewed out for it when our teacher came back the next day. It's like, oh, we shouldn't have done that, but we did it anyway. So that's just how, like, you know, because it weren't, like I said, it was just kind of a thing I had to keep to myself. It's like, oh, this super enjoyment about DBZ, because it's, it's not something I brought up that often, because I was like, yeah, it's probably dorky and uncool of me to talk about it, but I love it so much. But the reason why I say I don't know whether it was that or Sailor Moon because at the same, you know, I watched them both on Tsunami and Sailor Moon came on, I think, about four and DBZ came on at five. So I don't remember if I probably saw Sailor Moon first or Dragon Ball Z. I know I got really into Dragon Ball Z. Sadly, I never really got into Sailor Moon. I don't really know what it was. Maybe, I think, I think it's because, obviously, well... I mean, obviously, I'm not the main demographic for it. Like, I, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure Sailor Moon's considered shoujo, isn't it? Whereas, you know, DBZ is more shonen, so it's kind of, it was kind of right up my alley. I am, like, more the DBZ demographic than I am Sailor Moon. Granted, I don't have a problem with Sailor Moon now. I, granted, I've never seen anything of it since fourth grade, but, you know, from, you know, what I've seen, because there was the most recent series that came back some time ago, that I was just like, oh, I mean, maybe I'll pop in with that. I don't know. One of those things, you grow up, you learn a little bit more. Because at the time, I didn't realize all these things were anime. I didn't know what anime was. You know, I just thought it was a cartoon. I didn't realize, oh, it's actually a Japanese cartoon that someone had to buy the rights to so that they could bring it here and dub it, you know, and sell it for prop. Like, you know, like, there's a whole layer to it. Like, you know, there's so much more to it that I didn't know at the time. But those are kind of like, you know... DBZ was kind of my real introduction to like anime because it was the first time I watched a series and I really got into it. Because I mean, what I really like is like around the time I was watching DBZ, I also watched what was it, Roroni Kenshin. Um, there was another series. It was kind of a movie. It was kind of like the X situation. There was a series and a movie called Shadow Skills. If you never heard that, it's like a very old one too. But it's like I don't remember very much about it. I saw like I think the movie and then I saw the TV show and only saw like two episodes. I don't know how many there actually were of it. But it was kind of it's a series I might have to go back on and look go back and look more into because it's like it's been so many years. That Cowboy Bebop 
Outlaw Star. Oh god, I love Outlaw Star. I did. It's one of those animes like Wolf's Rain. I, I, I um. I talked about this a long time ago when I made a video about Wolf's Rain, but I had pre like at that time I had previously seen Wolf's Rain maybe like three years prior to that. Outlaw Star, I probably rewatched around that same time. So you know, since it was like that was like that was like two or three years ago, I made a video. So it's probably been like five or six years since I saw either Outlaw Star or Wolf's Rain. So there's like animes I'm gonna have to like go back and rewatch just just because I like them a lot. They had their moments, especially you know Wolf's Rain being super sad. I think that was kind of like, those are kind of like, a lot of those kind of fueled my mind of like, oh man, like, those were kind of my introduction to tragic stories. Because, you know, even Outlaw Star kind of had its tragic moments. There's that girl that Jim liked that, um, you know, they kind of got into a battle on, like, in space. And he, they ended up, like, their team ended up killing her. And he didn't realize it because he ended up going back and waiting at the spot they were supposed to meet. Because they didn't realize who each other was, that they were actually enemies, which was, like, super sad. Yet they were in love. It's, it was kind of somewhat like a Romeo and Juliet situation, except it's like, oh, they didn't realize that they were actually on opposite sides. Whereas Romeo and Juliet knew they were uh, from different families. It's like these two didn't know who they each other was so I guess I don't remember if it was around that time maybe Inuyasha too Yu Yu Hakusho oh and I'm gonna have to go back for that series too because there was quite a bit of Yu Yu Hakusho especially like in the later arcs that I miss I miss quite a bit of the final arc which is basically that big tournament basically deciding who was going to be the king of the demon world and it was the arc before it it was basically Yusuke had to hunt down an ex-spirit detective that was super strong. I think, like, was it Karama who said, like, that if you had to compare him to a demon, he was maybe, like, an s class demon? I do remember that specifically. That was like, oh, my, he's, like, that much of a badass. So there's a, those are kind of my earlier experiences with anime. And eventually, it wasn't until, like, roughly middle school, high school, when I learned more about anime that I started branching out. Because high school is when I started watching Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, Rave Master 2. I don't remember if that was before I knew about anime or was that I feel like that might have been around the time of everything else too or maybe that was during the middle school and high school that I watched that I don't remember but it's just it's kind of, I just I find it fascinating how it's just like this is where anime started for me where I knew next to nothing I only really cared about one series I liked a lot of things but one series just solidified in my mind like oh this is amazing and that was DBZ and then I ended up, you know, it, it, it's so interesting how one thing could lead to so many other things. It's like, if I probably never got into Dragon Ball Z the way I did, I don't, I honestly don't know if I'd be into anime like I am now. Granted, my taste in anime has branched out because obviously DBZ is like a heavily action series, but subsequently since then I've fallen and branched out more. Like originally, you could call DBZ what you want, fantasy, sci-fi, but like sci-fi is not a genre I was ever really into uh, across anything, TV or like anime, because fantasy always was kind of more my genre. That and kind of supernatural, uh, but I started getting more in, like branching out the more sci-fi stuff, more slice of life stuff. Um, had like romance, like that was never something I strived for when it came to like anime or manga. But it's something that, you know, as I've gotten older, it's like I like romance stories, like just because they have very interesting takes. Obviously, you have your tropes of it's like, oh, you're in love with this person, but you're too embarrassed to actually tell them. So you go on this very long and expansive journey. And at the end of it, you possibly may or may not get with that person. Or you might end up being like, oh, I thought I loved him, but now I actually, truth be told is I'm in love with this person, you know, like, you know. You know, anime and manga have like their quote unquote romance tropes. So, like, I watch, I read and watch more comedy heavily, heavy uh, series as well. So, you know, it's, I find it interesting that my taste has branched out. Doesn't mean I won't, you know, I really invest myself in action series too, but I take time to not just appreciate the action aspects, but the characters themselves to kind of get to know them and love them. Like, you know, DBZ was my first time getting to learn, learn about these characters, get to know about their personalities, as well as, you know, kind of falling in love with them for being who they are. Not just because of the action, which that helps a lot, but it also was kind of like, you know, I don't know. You, you kind of get what I mean, right? 
I know I'm not phrasing it well, but you, you kind of get an idea of what I mean. My question to you guys is, what was your first anime, or your first manga, if you're more into manga, and what, what were your early experiences like? For example, were you one of those people who were like me who had no idea what anime was, you looked more into it, and then you kind of branched out, found other series? Or are you one of those people who started off not liking anime at all, just like, I really don't care for it, but then you saw one series, and you're just like, all right, I'm hooked. You know, where you like that? Because I do know that there are some people who don't like anime, just like, it's just not their cup of tea, and it's like, which isn't a problem, it's like, you know, to each their own, you know, everyone's got their particular taste in what they like and what they don't like, so. Let me know in the comments down below, I'd like to, I'd like to hear, you know, your stories. But that's really all I want to talk about. Till the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, love life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day, and goodbye.